Okay, um, this tutorial is just discussing nodes, nothing specific. Um, I'm not just going to discuss Bezier curves or anything else, I'm just going to discuss nodes. I don't even think um, Zara actually calls them nodes, but everybody on the forum um, seems to call them nodes, so that's what we go for. And what I'm actually meaning by nodes is when you click on the um, shape editor tool, you've got these one, two, three points there, um, which actually have Bezier curves, and I say I'm not discussing Bezier curves, but you, you're talking that these one, that one, that one, and that one is what I call a node, and most people seem to, by default, call them nodes anyway. Uh, so I'm going to discuss those. Um, one of the first things I want to say is that when you click on that, you get the normal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blobs, call them what you want, around there, which you can use them to stretch backwards and forwards, etc. Um, what people don't often see is that just here on the right hand side, there's a little square, little black square right at the end of the um, of that line. That is the start position of that line. So it starts here, goes along, and goes to there. Um, you can often spend, say, a long time with a shape like this. It looks like a shape. But down on the status line, it says one line. You think it's a shape, and the only reason you know it's not a shape is because it's supposed to have a red outline and a green fill, but it's still got no green fill. What's wrong? Why hasn't it got a fill? It hasn't got a fill because it's still a line. Where's the start point? The start point is there. So you can see that the start point goes round and comes back here obviously it's not actually joined together there's a a bit missing okay so that's the first thing I think uh, I think you want to look at I've got all sorts of um, stick up uh, post-it notes stuck on the monitor or you'd have then and they've probably fallen off so it's going to be difficult to carry on with this um, the other thing to note it's okay the, the, the first thing you do with this knowing wh where the start point is you can select that start point and if I hit enter that immediately fills that shape it closes the line into a shape I'll undo that selecting that it doesn't work if I select that midpoint hit enter nothing happens hit the start point hit enter it closes a shape and makes it one shape instead of a line okay this is also handy if you when you come to a shape like this and think well hang on a minute it's close it looks close to me but it isn't if you go and click on the start point hit enter you fill the shape that's another thing to remember about nodes one of the the big things that I think is missing in Zara and uh, is that you can actually have nodes and if you looked at this shape that the, the red line shape we're looking at here you'd think it had one two three four nodes it hasn't it's got more nodes than that they're not sh there's the, there's nodes here there's, because there's one on top of another it doesn't show up for some reason, Zara is not very good at showing nodes that are hidden under other nodes. Similarly, um, just let me click that again. There's there's a node there, which is actually the start and end node. There's a node there that doesn't show up. Okay, so th th that's another thing to be aware of. Um, you can possibly zoom in and get them, but the only other way to do it is to to click over there but, but it's still as you see if I select drag there's it's just not showing up it's just something to be aware of 
finally, the, uh, the, the other thing that I'd like to show you, a lot of people don't realise, is that you have a, here, we have a line, and we have text on a line, or text on a curve, whatever you want to call it, and it says, hello world, um, you can click on that line, get the select text tool, and this reverse path, or a reverse paths icon, is very handy sometimes, and if you hit that, you actually change again. You change the start and end point. Um, this is just a simple line. Um, I will say, if you cl click on it, you get your normal eight points around it, and there's the start point. If you go back at the shape of the tool, reverse path, click that. That you've changed the start point to this end it's a handy thing to know and uh, anyway I, I hope this has helped you and uh, if not hard luck mm.